Hello, my name is Ruben Paul, and I create a self-driving car. Here are the different parts of the car. This yellow rectangular box is a motor. It controls the wheel of the car. There are four different motors for four different wheels. This right here is the H bridge. It sends signals to the motor, allowing the car to turn, go in different directions, and speed up and slow down. This right here is the power bank. The power bank stores about 16 volts. It looks like a cell phone, and it send, sends power to all different parts of the car. This here is the Arduino. It interprets data sent by the Raspberry Pi, allowing the motors, sending signals to the H bridge, allowing the motors to move according to where the track needs it to go. This here is the main computer, the Raspberry Pi. It gets data sent by the Raspberry Pi camera to it, and it interprets the data and responds to the track, like the lanes and the objects on the track. And this right here is the Raspberry Pi camera. It detects the lanes in the track and sends feed to the Raspberry Pi. code I wrote to program the car. When I run the code, a few windows open up. The original window right here takes the bare feed that the Raspberry Pi camera detects. This perspective, uh, this perspective window, it takes the feed and then it converts it to a bird's eye view. Then finally, in the final image, what it does is it creates everything that's not the lines, that's not white, it makes it black, and if you can see here, it draws a green line on top of the lines. This green line is where the center, the middle of the two other green lines are. And this, this middle blue line is where the car is supposed to be. So the car will always try and move left or right to accommodate to make the green line go on directly on top of the blue line. And then if you see here, this is the stop sign. I have trained the car to detect a stop sign. And if you can see, when I move the car forward and keep moving it, A stop sign is detected. This is what I did to train the car to recognize stop signs. I used machine learning and artificial intelligence to train the car. I used a Cascade Trainer program on Windows, and what I did was I took about 100 photos of different angles of the stop sign. And what I did was for each image, I had to crop out just what the stop sign was so that the car could recognize it.